In this tutorial video, I will introduce a computer program for determination of lattice parameters of an unknown crystal phase in TEM experiments, including lattice reconstruction and unicell refinement. This is one of the key components in London Software Suite for electron diffraction simulation and the crystallography analysis. You may download the software suite from the website on the screen. For the application of reduced cell method, you may read the, these two papers here and the references therein. Here is the London launcher icon. Double click the icon, click this button to start Relax 3. In lattice and cell, the first one is lattice data. Here, we prepared experimental data for reconstruct the reciprocal lattice. And the second one is the procedure to do the reconstruction. There are two ways to use the reduced cell to build the lattice. One way is use two electron diffraction patterns and the angle between them. The second way is build the lattice with the three electron diffraction patterns each pair has a common vector between them. The last one is exit. In determination, the first one is transform the lattice from reciprocal space to direct space. The second one is for the lattice matrix symmetry and also convert the reduced cell to Blavi type lattice. In refinement, first we define the which type of the lattice. In refinement, we load the experimental data and make the refinement. In help, the first one is current drive and serial number. Click example will provide you a demo data so you can learn how to use the program. In version, it show you the information of the version. We're going to introduce three methods for lattice reconstruction. First one is build from tilting series of Select area electron diffraction patterns. And then the second one is from two select area diffraction patterns contain the basic vector and the tilting angle between them. And the last one is the three select area diffraction patterns. Each pair shared a common diffraction vectors. 
the conventional method to build reciprocal lattice is from a tilting series. We can use the demo data by click the light bulb here. The first column is from vector 1, and column 2 is from vector 2, and the third one is the tilting angle in the diffraction experiments. You can easily edit the table here. You fill new row here and put add. There will be add a new row here. Or you select one row, you can remove it back to the field here. The data is from the experimental diffraction pattern. And you can use SAED3 to get the, the vector 1, vector 2, and also you get your tilting angle here. The list in the table can be saved to a file and reloaded by using the load method back to here. The length of these vectors should be the same. And here are slightly different is due to a small experimental error. To display the, this list to here by clicking display. And you see the this is experimental data. Now let's do the reciprocal lattice construction. You can show here the grid and the scale bar here, or you select and not display them. Let's enlarge the circles a little bigger so you can see easily. First, we reset the coordinate original, select this one, and Hold the mouse left button and raise it up. You can see we have uh, four patterns here. This is one, and this is two, and this is three, and the fourth one. Vector one is point out of the screen towards you. Vector two is in the horizontal line. Vector 3 either vertical or with angle with the horizontal line here. You can reset the orientation. Usually we make the vector with the shortest length along the horizontal line. In this case, it will be this one. Next, we set the scaling. Original is 100% here. And this is by increase the label to 125. Next, we adjust the, the distance between the vertex bar to match with experimental data here. In the same way, we reset the vector 3. So now you see all the experimental spot on the grid. If you find the, the angle between vector 2 and 3 are not 19 degrees, 
you can set them here if you have a monoclinic face like here but here we have a 90 degrees so we bring them back once you find all the experimental bus match with the, the net you can build the lattice the data is transferred here and this is uh, you fill in the actually measured scaling bar in your uh, diffraction patterns for example this is labeled as one one over nanometer the measured scale bar is a hundred pixel so you label here and this is that we measured data here this should be a 90 degree here we have a So we 90 degree for alpha, beta, and gamma. So we need to convert the reciprocal unicell to directly unicell. Hit on the convert. And this is the result for our demo data. You have a, a B, C is 0.8 nanometer, 0.71 nanometer and 1.08 nanometer and this is a orthorhombic structure now I will show you the second method that is reconstruction use reduce cell method if you are not familiar with the reduce cell method you should read the paper listed uh, at the beginning of the video and click this one and here again we have a uh, two select array diffraction patterns and the vector one here vector two here this is the angle between vector one and vector two they are uh, 90 degrees Again, the vector one is the, the common vectors for these two diffraction patterns, and this is the second vector of diffraction pattern two, and this angle between vector one and vector two. And here we get the tilting angle from diffraction one to diffraction two. In this case, you only have a, a tilting in the uh, the phi and theta are zero, and this is phi and theta O zero. From this data, we can use the reduce cell method to build the reciprocal uh, reduced cell, and just click build. Here you have the, this is the only the uh, reduced cell. We have a very small angle here, and the, this one and this one are 90 degrees. So then we can transfer this state to the next uh, stage by clicking next. Next will be transfer from again. That's uh, suppose we have the scale bar is for one one over nanometers and this is measure scale bar for a hundred pixels so this is the data exactly here we hit convert and we get the direct cell here so this is the direction and this is not finished because this is 
direct the shell of the reduced cell. So we hit next. The next one will search for the lattice matrix symmetry. If they are high symmetry, we can convert that to use the metric uh, symmetry to convert them to Blavi lattice. We get the reduced cell and transfer to directed space as here A, B, C, alpha, beta, gamma. We see here that uh, beta and gamma are 90 degrees. So this cell is a monoclinic lattice. We're looking for are there higher lattice matrix exist or not. Is this one created a table. Uh, default name is uh, vector list. We don't have a vector list here so we can save it and uh, check out here. Vector list here. We open in the vast list we have a, a generated uh, vectors from 1 to 13 and in the column we also compare the angle between those vectors from 1 to 13. This is the uh, index and this is the, the length. And here I show 90 degrees or very near to 90 degrees. One and two vectors are 90 degrees. So is two and one. And we have a, this one is vector two, other orthogonal to one and five and six and nine. But there are no pairs, three vectors, and they are all orthogonal to each other. So this structure must be a monoclinic phase. Here, if we choose 1 and 2 and 5, and we'll compare to the original vector lens in from, let's see, 1, and 2 and 5. 5 will be the C, but 1 and 2, 2 will be A, but uh, the 1 is much short than the B, so we're going to choose 1, 2, and 5 to build a new cell here. So we put it one, two, five. Then we we'll save here. It will be blobby lattice. We don't have it here, so we go save. We check blobby lattice. And here are the, our new cells. So we have uh, A and B and C here. You can compare the original. A will be, now we select the B and C is cape here, but we select A is much shorter than the B here. And then we have the Alpha is 19 degree, and gamma is 90 degree. Beta is near, is 91.56. So we selected this one as our monoclinic unit cell for the data we used. Uh,
This is our larvae lattice. Now we use another method for the reduced cell. And in this setup is we have a three diffraction patterns and each pair have a shared vectors. And this is the pattern one, pattern two, and pattern three. And you can see pattern one and pattern two, they have a shared axis here. And pattern one and three have a vector here. And pattern two and the three have a shared vector here. The angle between these two vectors, the angle between these two vectors is this. And so is this. In this case, we can build a reciprocal lattice here. This is our reciprocal lattice. And from this reciprocal lattice, we can move to the next. Assume that we have a lattice. Again, the scale bar is uh, labeled as 1. 1 over nanometers and it measured 100 pixels and this data is just copied from here and now we convert to the direct uh, in the cell but here you see that only one of them is nearer to 90 degrees and the other two are not. So we click here, try to find higher metric symmetry here. We'll do the same thing. This data is copied to here. We created a vector list. This one will overwrite the vector list here or you can put a vector 2 here. If you have the same name, this one will overwrite this one. Save. Let's check out the, the basic vector, new basic vectors. And I already explained you before what is the meaning in this table. But let's check out. And here we have a one vector one have a many with a two and fourteen fifteen sixteen they are parallel to that one of course four will be perpendicular one well, we have a five perpendicular seven seven five and here are the list here so what we can choose we can choose uh, Number one will be this vector, four and uh, fourteen. Here is is this one. Then will be the fourteen two point. 588 eight. longer than this one. So we choose the vector as 1, 4, 14 as a basic vector and to see what happened there. One, two, fourteen. One, four, fourteen. Save here. Again, this one will be overwrite 
the blurry vectors here. Blurry vectors here. We get a new cell here. This one, this one, and this one. Beta is very close to 90 degrees and gamma very close to 90 degrees and alpha is 102.52 and this that is is a B centered This is only magic symmetry. The real lattice symmetry should be checked with experimental data. Now we demonstrate the refinement. In refinement, we had to know that which lattice system is and put a constraint on that. Then we do the refinement. The constraint is for the seven crystal systems. Now let's go to the and this is will be the final refinement that is here. And this is how you put the lattice in. The refraction you can measure from your system is H, K, L, and the G value is here. You can put the data here and add in to the list. Or you can remove, click here and remove or clean all of them. You can save the list to a file and load the file back. Suppose that the system is triclinic. Do the refine. You can see that the refinement is like this. This look like a hexagonal face. As this one is for 120 degrees, and this is near 90, and this is near 90. If we put a hexagonal face here. And you had to put the, see, originally put alpha and beta to the, to 90 degrees, and gamma is 120 degrees. So, thank you for watching. Please check our other videos in this series about London Software Suite for electron diffraction simulation and crystallographic analysis.